Hi, Joe. So we know that AI is increasingly playing a significant role in chip design, much like in any other field. In fact, in the last year, uh, we've had AI-driven solutions help design real chips. I mean, from the latest smartphone to the smallest microcontroller. So tell us why we really need AI for chip design in this new era. Uh, hey, Geeta. Um, yeah, so chip design is a, a very difficult process, and it's filled with decisions that engineers have to make that ultimately determine um, how good of a product they're, they're going to uh, get out of the implementation process. Uh, traditionally, engineers uh, address these, these decisions, make these decisions with things like uh, their own expertise or brute force exploration of parameters or even guesswork. And obviously that's not ideal and it's not very scalable. Um, DSO with its AI driven um, uh, algorithms actually is, is perfectly suited for making these kinds of data driven decisions and can do so in a, in a manner that's much more efficient than the traditional engineering uh, process and also is very adaptable to the dynamic uh, chip design world that we find ourselves in. So you mentioned, uh, you know, DSO. Tell us what or how does an AI-driven system like design space optimization work? Yeah, so DSO, um, it, it's, it's very different from an exploration environment. Uh, DSO uses a reinforcement learning algorithm to do a search across a very large configuration space to drive uh, um, your, your chip design process to produce more optimal results. Optimal as measured against the user's criteria, their desires for what they want to improve in their design. Through this process, DSO is actually learning what configuration sets, what set of configuration parameters consistently produce optimal results on your different blocks. And it, DSO can reuse those learnings over and over again to make the process even more efficient. So what would you say is the benefit for the designer? I mean, is it uh, PPA, is it faster? What do they get? So primarily we're going after engineer productivity. DSO is going to make your engineers much more productive out of the gate. Exactly how that translates is kind of up to you and, and how you want to leverage DSO. You can, you can use um, uh, engineers to tackle more blocks in your design. You can shrink the schedules um, and, and basically get your chips done faster. Or if you want to apply that extra productivity and extra time to boost PPA, that's an option with DSO as well. But primarily we're going after productivity improvements. Great. So are we closer to a green button now for chip design? <laughs> yeah, I, I wish. Uh, DSO is not a big green button, but what it is, it's a system that can basically take the more mechanical and time consuming decisions off of your engineer's desk and let the engineer, let the designer get back to the creative process of chip design, which is what we want them to do all together. And not only get chips done faster um, and better, but do it with less effort from the engineers. That was really insightful, Joe. Thank you so much. For more information, connect with us at synopsis.com or join us at the next snub. Thank you.